Hello YouTube. I uh, picked up uh, something new to play with. I was in Walmart um, a few days ago and I was browsing the tools section and I spotted this and uh, I thought well for ten bucks could be fun to play with. So uh, I picked it up. Sheffield, I don't know who that company is. I'm sure it's just some uh, brand name, probably a takeoff on the British, famous British uh, Sheffield uh, cutlery uh, area of England. But it um, comes with a nylon pouch, nothing really fancy. I don't think it'll last long on your belt. It'll probably just uh, fall off, probably okay for the pack. Little blade protector, it's fallen off and almost become lost several times. So I wouldn't count on this sticking around too long. Uh, I got a little blade that's probably about an inch and a half, if that, maybe an inch and a quarter. Wood scales, hammerhead, um, a wrench, two, two position, two size wrench. And then a few tools, has a uh, knife blade, just a spear point and a uh, fish gate, uh, excuse me, saw, has a wood saw, not very long. You can cut a, a small limb, maybe an inch or less in diameter. And a uh, fish scaler and ruler with a file on the back. And then the, oh, and I think, let's see, does that have a, yeah, screwdriver tip, regular slotted uh, screwdriver tip on the uh, top there. And then finally it has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So, been batoning with it this morning. Cutting up an old piece of furniture my wife wanted discarded. Uh, it's a kind of a hardwood. I don't know, something maybe from Asia, but uh, it's pretty brittle wood. Um, actually, it's very hard, tough wood, uh, but it doesn't cut in a straight uh, line with the grain. It kind of shatters. You have to force your blade through it, but it's quite hard, quite, quite tough stuff. And then... Uh, Making some shavings with it. I'll move this over a little bit. So you can you can make shavings. Chops, chops. Uh, you can baton with it. No loosening. You can see this. The head is held on by uh, two rivets. And they didn't do a really great job. This one rivet, they didn't even peen. It didn't come through very far. I can see this failing at some point with a lot of hard use, but holding up, surprisingly. 
it took a good edge with uh, my stones and it's it's holding the edge uh, it's probably your ch generic 440A stainless steel not real great stuff I'm always interested in uh, gimmicky little things like this, cheap, cheap tools. I know what the expensive stuff will do. It's quality. You know it's going to work. It's going to hold up. But I'm always interested in the cheap stuff. You know, the stuff that Grandma buys at Christmas for the Boy Scout. Oh, here, grandson, here's a, a hatchet for you. What will it do? You know, can it do anything? Will it hold up? I'm always interested in, in cheap stuff and, and uh, how it uh, can be made better. I love squaring up the tips on the uh, junky screwdrivers and putting an edge on the blades. Now this took a really good, good edge. It's, it'll shave. Now, will it hold that edge? No, no, not likely. Just again, probably 440A. But you know, the idea is have fun, and uh, so that's what we're going to do. And it's coffee time too, so let's see if we can get some coffee going here. Okay, we got fire going. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know. I, like I said, these are, this is just something for fun. Just grins and giggles and uh, having 
having some fun, seeing what a, a cheap tool can do. I've used the hammer a little bit, uh, nothing really big, just driving some brads and stuff. I think it'll hold up, you know, for a while anyway. It might be okay for maybe a, a scout or uh, maybe to have in your vehicle for a, a little extra kit. But uh, just fun stuff. So let's see, our fire is going good here. Sorry about the angle on the camera, kind of being a stinker today. Uh, something else I picked up uh, recently was uh, one of these uh, Uzi brand tactical folders and uh, this is an assisted opener. I really like that blade design. Got the Uzi logo on it. This one's got a uh, glass breaker feature down here and uh, a belt cutter. I like the blade profile, liner lock, spring assisted opener, kind of aggressive looking blade. I, I like Tantos, I mean they're, I like Tantos for EDC, for self defense and like that, but for woodsy tasks I like a, a drop point or a clip point. Uh, and I don't like a 50-50 on a woodsy blade very much, I, I much prefer a, a knife with a regular straight edge. I got my little fire kit put away here. If you got any friends that uh, do uh, muzzle loading, go to Black Powder Shoots. Get them to save the. Uh, ooh, the wind's coming up. Get them to save their um, the little tins that the percussion caps come in and uh, pass them on to you. And then uh, you can take over to campfire and uh, burn them and burn the paint off, and you get a nice. Um, old-fashioned looking uh, little tin that you can put your uh, char cloth or uh, maybe uh, some um, petroleum uh, cotton balls in. It's just a nice old-fashioned looking little tin and then rub a little uh, grease uh, like um, Crisco or something on it to kind of season the metal and uh, it's just fun making your own old-fashioned uh, stuff for trail. Here's another one that I made. This one's got a little leather pouch and it's a little tiny Altoids tin and then you open it up and it's got more of your, your impregnated uh, petroleum stuff in it. It's half the fun of this uh, hobby is making your own gear. Time for some more wood. It's 
So I hope you guys' holidays are going good. It's uh, today's December, I think, 14th. Let me check here. Yep, December 14th, about 10 days away from Christmas Eve. Imagine some of you cats are getting new gear and looking forward to trying it out. Um, my wife asked me what I wanted. One one thing I wanted was a uh, one of those Five Star Gear survival tubes, which you might check out their channel and and check that out. There's also a, a couple other videos some private persons have done. It's pretty neat. Kind of looking forward to playing around with that. Starting to get a boil, getting close to coffee time. Yeah, I put a little uh, linseed oil on these. They were very dry and they, they weren't treated with anything, the scales on here. They're probably just epoxied in, is what I think. But I put a little oil on them just to preserve them. The edges. Holding up pretty decent. I, it hasn't rolled. Nope, hasn't hasn't rolled. Yeah, we just about got a boil here. All right, I think that's close enough. Any hotter, and I won't be able to drink it for a while. It's definitely starting to do a rolling boil now. Is somebody calling me? Yes, I am drinking instant. I actually like this uh, Taster's Choice French Roast. Pretty good. It's not bad stuff at all. I think instant coffees have improved a lot in the last few years. Um, probably one of the better ones. This, this one I think is really good. There's a few other brands I like. Um, Starbucks is the Via. The Via is. Um, pretty decent. Mmm, hot coffee. It's cloudy today. It's supposed to be a 50% chance of rain, so I'm glad to get out here in the yard and play around with this. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't take it too serious, okay? Just having fun here. I get video comments from people, oh, what a piece of crap, what a piece of junk. I know that. Hey, we're just having fun here. Just, um, you know, Enjoy the ride. You know, that's what life's all about. Enjoy the ride. Just kick back and have fun. It's too, uh, world's too serious as it is. So, not trying to lecture, just throwing some advice your way. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you a little later. Get out there this weekend. Go out and have some fun. All right. Bye.